What is going on guys? Welcome to your ninth HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be laying out this template that we pretty much made in the tutorials 1 through 4 I think it is. So we're pretty much going to lay it out, style it, and I'm going to show you guys how to lay it out perfectly using an old traditional box model in CSS because I get so many messages and emails asking me how to lay out a website and it's even kind of difficult to center a website properly so I'm gonna be showing you the old style and then I'm gonna show you how it differs from the new style and you guys can probably use bits and pieces from both to lay out your websites like a pro so both of these techniques are awesome I don't want to say that one is better than the other you can definitely use things from both but once you watch probably these next five or six tutorials you guys are gonna be able to lay out websites like a champ so the last thing I want to mention is yes we are going to be going over you know the canvas and geolocation and all that good stuff but I want to cover the core basic fundamentals first before we jump into that really advanced stuff and also I'm going to be moving to New York this weekend so if you're watching these tutorials as I upload them I just want to let you guys know that I'm shutting off my internet tomorrow and it won't be on for like a week or so while I you know transition make the move so anyways enough talking let's go ahead and start laying this stuff out so the very first thing we need to do is we need to surround well I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this head we really don't need it we need to surround everything in a huge div tag so I'm gonna be putting my div tag right under the body and I'm just gonna give it an ID of oh, let me see something I can remember ID equals big not bog big underscore wrapper and okay since this is right under the very first opening body tag I'm gonna close it right under this last one right here and a cool thing if you go ahead and highlight your div tag and if it turns purple that means that it has a matching div tag somewhere so if you're working in a small window like this or if you just want to go through and make sure all your tags match you can do that nice little tip so anyways now that it turned purple Again, basically, we're surrounding our entire main content with this big div tag. And that's so we can center the website later on. So don't forget that. And also, don't forget the name of it. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these tags, these HTML5 tags, and give it an ID. And an ID basically lets us reference it whenever we're working in the main CSS file later on. So I'm going to name this header top header and I probably need that ID and actually I think I'm gonna do this just go ahead and copy this bad boy so I don't have to type all that over and over alright so header is top header and then for my nav we need ID for this now the navigation I'm gonna just call top menu I guess since that's where all my links are and for this section I'm just gonna call it main section pretty creative with that one and let's see we need to find the sides now the side ones right here if you remember they're pretty much the news I'm just gonna put news in them Bucky has a dog you know not the important information but definitely information that we do not want to forget so I'm just gonna call this side news and for the footer we actually need ID for this too and this is gonna be called the footer so let me just go ahead and make sure I didn't type anything wrong real quick and if we go ahead and save this and refresh we can see that nothing changes and I guess I might as well show you guys this is our starting point right here bland old plain stupid boring website so we definitely need to spice this up a bit so now that we have an ID on everything whenever we're making our CSS file we can reference this stuff and we can actually move it around how we want to so for this tutorial I just want to mention all that stuff at the beginning and also make sure that you surround all your contents with a big div tag and give all your stuff an ID and that's gonna allow us to reference it and also move it around in the next tutorial so we have a lot of CSS and styling to cover in the next tutorial so I'm going to be saving it for then. So for now, thank you guys for watching. And also, if you need any of this code, again, I'm going to be posting it all on my forum. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.